guys, welcome back to another video, and today we have the finale of what the Son of Dragons were in Naruto. I just keep the old title card as always. Anyways, before we start, don't forget to, of course, like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, enjoy. As I still hope to get to 200 by the end of the month. But my goals aside, without further ado, play the intro. <laughs> to take down you already know get the fuck out of my face now yeah you gotta go man i'm on the chase now leave me on my own i got a chance to break now here i fucking go take control of fate now i control my flow and i know that i'll be great how putting on a show i know that i'ma stay loud drowning out the nose the haters i was thinking that they could fucking break me they're better off beating their own words like pastries hate me Chain to the war arc, we begin with some good old canon, um, as in canon. The first people in Naruto and be encounter will still be Edo Nagato and Edo Nagato, Edo Itachi. And that fight would about go down the same way as in canon, just with us. I'm sorry, um, Naruto adding more to, you know, his rant to Itachi about Sasuke. Or was that not in this fight, it wasn't the other time they met. Eh, I forgot. I uh, went fighting the seven ninja swords, man. Um, we would use. I at this point forgot Black Wing Dragon name. <laughs> I forgot the name of this form I picked up. You blame me? I has been kind of long since I used it, but basically he used that to fight the seven ninja swords, man, and he would. Well, besides um, Haku and Zabuza, but the rest of them just get clapped easily and are sealed away by the team much easier than in canon. Oh, and Naruto and Sakura. I'm oh, sorry, Energy and Sakura also use their dragons during the war, but since um, they didn't fight no one notable, we're just going to skip over these two. Moving on to Dane, Sasuke still teams up with Itachi, and the two do still fight Kabuto. And. Sasuke would also use his curse mark during the fight, having, you know, and actually being able to fight on Itachi's level since, you know, during the whole fight the candy, Itachi was kind of do the entire of the, of the work. <laughs> and we'll basically use shooting Quasar to, you know, well, tie the knot, deal Kapodo in. This still leads to Itachi putting, I'm sorry, this will still lead to Itachi putting Kapodo on their, um, Izunagi, or no, was it Izunami? I think it was Izunami. <laughs> Izunagi is the one that restores you. Izunagi is the other one. <laughs> no, Izunagi is the one. Anyways, Izunami and makes Kabuto basically release all the Edos. Well, except for Badara since he gets to ignore every rule. <laughs> and, uh, and like in canon, Itachi is sent off the same way. And as in canon, Naruto and B would still encounter, well, Toby, I wonder who he is, in the Edo Jinjuriki. <laughs> the fight would still continue with the same beats as in canon, and still, um, Naruto using, I'm oh, sorry, that's our differences. Naruto would use Red Demon's Dragon, um, something else. Kakashi and Guy would still arrive, and, um, Killer B would still be in the fight, but I couldn't fit him, so. <laughs> Of course, the fight eventually gets too hard to handle for them where they are now, and so Naruto still unlocks KCM2. This would also evolve um, Red Nova Dragon into Super Red Nova Dragon. It looks much cooler. And so with that, they are able to defeat the Biju, and Obito still um, puts them back in the ghetto statue, and so the battle with Obito continues. I'm sorry, not Obito, Toby. I don't know he's Obito. Who knows if he's Obito? Anyways, it's revealed he's Obito. <laughs> and as in canon, Madara would still join the fight on both hopping on the Tentails and riding him like a Pokemon. Actually using him, which the Tentails will still go into his complete form or whatever it's called, final form. <laughs> and would still shoot that giant Biju bomb that would be about to kill everyone. Luckily, me and Toast still rise using the fire and dream to teleport that away along with the rest of the Edo Hokage. And create from here, many battles continue on as in canon, just with the Sino Dragons there to assist. 
Jin tells Opie's toe still arises and the Sire Dragons are able to hurt him. And so they would um basically all um gang up on Obito and basically um um wreck him with some difficulty, but nevertheless um still beat him. But still at least the same stuff as Obito is separated from Tin I forgot how it went. And Madara is still revived. <laughs> Things lead to things, Madara fights the um, Sign of Dragons and absolutely wins, and then would fight um, Guy in the 8th Gate and would be, well, still, would still come out on top, but, you know, that would go as in canon. Of course, things lead to more things, and Kagi has revived. Ever Neji and uh, Rock Lee being Sirens, unless I'm forgetting someone else who I should include in this image, would be able to, you know, Break out of the Tsukiyomi, you actually don't know that, but they would be able to get out of the Tsukiyomi thanks to Crimson's dra dra Crimson Dragon's help. So the two would be involved in the fight against Kaguya, but however, I don't think they would help much, even in uh, Six Gate Lee and Neji's basically um not on any level to be helping, but the dra their dragons will would some. <laughs> Kaguya still all does her, her Kaguya still does all her dimension ship Sasuke Sasuke separated Naruto Neji and um, Rock Lee will fight Kaguya <laughs> and then Sasuke comes back Naruto and um, Sasuke are still away you know still distractions gravity dimension and the lava dimension all remains as in canon in the final dimension the Crimson Dragon would you know lend its help and um Basically bring out a new guy, that being Majestic Dragon, to basically evolve all the Sino Dragons into their Majestic Forms. So these aren't actually their Majestic Forms, I just saw some cool, cool forms. Well, it's up for um, Shooting Star, since, I'm sorry, Shooting Quasar, since he'll be too corrupt to actually receive any help. So we get Majestic Red <laughs> Dragon Arch thing, Majestic um, Lightstream Dragon, oh, I don't need to say all their names. You probably guess who they are by the looks. And so with the Majestic's help, they absolutely wreck Kaguya along with Sasuke, Naruto, and Sakura, and Kakashi. They all basically seal away Kaguya with much more ease than in canon. Naruto and Sasuke will still have their fight. I have no idea why I put Naruto so small. Naruto, anyways, Naruto and Sasuke will still have their final fight at the Valley of the Inn after everything's said and done. Since Rock Lee and Neji would be about as much help as, um, not really if they joined the fight. <laughs> Both of them use their Sound Dragons during the fight when they're doing the whole Susano and three headed QB thing, which was cool. And both dragons just end up being destroyed as after the fight is done, and you know, they're basically on the ground with no arms. Stardust will finally return to normal. <laughs> And so with that, the rest of Naruto would play out the same. The Sino Dragons are completed their job, and yeah, that ends off the series. As always, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I think I'm going to miss this one. My first, well, second time, if you don't count me putting the Egyptian God cards in. Attack on Titan, which ended up being a giant mess and me not finishing the series. I might go back to finish that. <laughs> Anyways, with that, hopefully you... Oh, I already said that. <laughs> but I did enjoy doing this one. As always, I always have that sad feeling when I have to end off a series. But a new one will come later. Well, I'm always going to be doing movies from now on, so... <laughs> Anyways, um, hopefully we can get 200 sub by the end of the month. As always, as according to now, during the recording of this, we are five subs away at 195. <laughs> and see you next time.